every week in school and using Digger to create Minecraft mobs has really helped me extend my coding and could create a world that we all know. This project was so fun because we could learn about our Aboriginal people and where they lived and what what they spoke and did it all in Minecraft and with my friends. Um, hello, what I liked about the Gurang Gurang and Terribalang culture was I got to build stuff ab um, about their culture and go to listen to um, what they had to say about the cult um, about the land. Hi, I enjoyed the project because I love to talk about the Aboriginal cultures and the Bunyanas and also the Big Snow. Hi, what I've loved about this project is learning about the Big Stone and all the other Grain Grain people. What I liked about this project is about the bunny and not how we we can make bread out of them and put them in different types of food. Like because we didn't know about them for like many years. Hi. The thing I enjoyed about this project was building with my friends and learning that Af Aboriginal culture. Good one. Hello. And I appreciate getting to learn about the Gurangrang, the Chablang, the Gurang and the Batlai people's histories. And that we got and that we had to search up how they lived in the past. We also had fun getting to learn about our, the indigenous buildings that and their plants that would have existed around Bundaberg during their times. And we also look forward to learning about more of the cultures of the Grand Grand, the Chablain, the Ing and the Balai people as well. I'm Sam E. Frames and I'm the Digital Technologies teacher at Calkey State School. Um, I was really excited to have this program in our school. I knew I wanted to do something dynamic for NAIDOC week um, and this was something that just came out of the blue. Um, and we grabbed it with both hands. Um, the kids have absolutely adored it. I've had trouble getting them out of the lab. They've just wanted to spend every available moment working on this project. It's been fantastic. We've looked at the history of our region. We've been able to reach out to community and uh, we've done a whole lot of research online, which has shown us just how many gaps and silences there are in our local history. And it's really um, shown the kids how important it is for us to acknowledge our elders in our community and really um, just soak in what we can. Um, and so we're really looking forward to working with elders and our, our history leaders um, in the future to make sure that this project continues. 